legendary. So it has boosted oxygen capacity, uh, plus 20 carry capacity, and 4% chance to reflect attacks. Are you kidding? That's a really good job. Yeah, of course I'm using that. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Jason here, and this is Starfield. So we're going to start a brand new game in Starfield. If you did not know, I, uh, I got it early. I played the heck out of it when it first came out, but I never finished the main storyline. I spent a lot of time in the side stuff. So we're going to start a brand new game and we're going to do the main storyline. So there's a ton of side quests we can do. So I'm going to avoid those in this playthrough. We're going to do the main stuff first. And if you did not know, there is a new game plus. New Game Plus. No spoilers on any of that stuff, but there is a New Game Plus. Yes. I am playing on PC with, like, maxed out settings. And we will be going through main storyline. If it's popular enough, we will do New Game Plus and really, like, explore and do everything. But right now, I just want to go through the main storyline. It's a pretty good. It's pretty long, so it'll take us some time to get through it. Seals are good. Oxygen's good. Just do what you did last time, and you're fine. Follow my one simple rule. Hella, what's my one simple Listen rule? Listen to Lynn. Boss lady knows best. Exactly. Listen to me. Mining's just like any other job. Go steady. Go safe. Go home with a pocket full of credits at the end of the day. Yeah, totally. It's just like, um, now I work in the Star Dock, except uh, with more cave-ins, lasers, and accidental dismemberment. Very helpful. Thank you. Ah, you're gonna be fine. Your first outing was solid. And, you know, let's be honest, it ain't exactly astrophysics. That's why I keep him around. Good pep talks. Yeah. Good pep and talks. And the fact that I can pinpoint a helium deposit from 300 meters. <laughs> Not untrue. A shame we won't find any down here. But the metal deposits alone should pay for our own helium. Hell, after this, we'll have enough jump fuel to bounce from one end of the settled systems to the next. Hey, more minerals, more money. And so the cycle repeats itself. Just no more unauthorized jumps in the house for room space, okay? He's just a big baby. There are worse lives. You know, most Dusties don't even make it this far. I have a good feeling about you. A group hug now or at the end of the shift? One of these days, Hella, I am going to leave you behind. Promises, promises. All right. So this is like the intro tutorial area where they kind of tell you, hey, this is how you move. This is how you uh, do stuff. Okay, let's see what we've got. Look how beautiful how this game looks. A uh, little longer. Grab some samples. Always. Uh, but not you. Check on Isabel. Make sure she eases up on the breach. I don't feel like getting buried alive today. Roger that. Remember, Dusty, keep your breathing steady and never take that helmet off down here. Oxygen processors don't extend this far. Yeah, because God forbid we drill on a rock with breathable atmosphere. Know what I love about working in Freestar Collective Space? Fewer regs. A job like this in the United Colonies? <laughs> Of red tape. Ugh. Look at this one over here. Calva! No! Ah, no, no, no! It's a laser, not a sledgehammer! Ease up! Benning, if you got paid per break, you'd be a millionaire! Let's go! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Lynn's kind of a hard what ass. Say, Dusty? You make your cut, you get your cut. No exception. Come on, pick it up! Troy, what's the yield? Minimal at this point. Occasional glimmer, but it's weak. What do you think? Stay the course? No, ma'am. Juice ain't worth the squeeze. Well, okay then. Let's call this one tapped. Why don't you move over to that big vein we looked at? Yes, ma'am. Okay. We're gonna move over to the, the big vein, I guess. Oh, now, kind of. It's really, it just, it reminds me of Total Recall. This whole, like, drilling and, and digging underground. Dusty, you're up. Grab a cutter and mine what you can. All right. Metal deposits are in that cavern. 
I'll shout out what I need to. All right, so yeah, go around and collect some materials. We'll be done here soon. Now I hear this is the last dig. Ah! What the heck? <laughs> you just get shot? Hey, excuse me. I don't know who what shot hell, him. Father? Wasn't me. I promise. Here we go. Get some more over here. I wonder what these guys How are going at. Are you to join? Fall for the fancy pamphlets? Yes, I did. Let's get all this. They're ready, boss. Get back up here. Beautiful. More digs to go before I feel like talking to you. Come on. It's time. You're with me. What are we doing? And here we go. In three, two, one. What's going on here? supposed to be doing here Ella get the readings yeah about that problem uh not if you consider a spike in gravity readings a problem I don't you don't when we're after it'll read as an anomaly that's what I was told anyway okay now you're starting to freak me out relax it's just another job come on just another job. Mm-hmm. That's always how it starts. We're getting close, I think. Yeah, everything is just... <laughs> Lynn, seriously, uh, there's something really effed up about this. Where is it, Hella? Through there, I think. Okay, you. You're up. Something goes wrong in there, we'll come get you. <laughs> that uh, sounds great. <laughs> why would anything go wrong? Would you shut up? Both of you do your jobs. Client is on his way. Okay, great. Yes. Anything goes wrong. Do you think something's going to go wrong? Oh, no. Don't worry about it. Oh, okay. That sounds great. That sounds like I want to do something. Uh, yeah. Still getting weird gravity readings. I, I guess that's a good thing. Just keep going. Just keep going. That. Picking up all the, the resources. You know I have to pick up everything. Yeah, we got something out here. What is this? Look at that. No gravity. Everything's just like... Okay. Oh, cut it out. Oh, let's get in here. Was that? Not out of it. Hey, come on, come on. Okay, take it easy. You were out cold. Uh, no physical damage. Mentally, the jury's still out. You know who you are? New recruit for Argos Extractors. Ring any bells? Any of this look familiar? And we have our character creator. I love it. All right. Character creator time. So I'm not going to bore you too much with the character creator because I play in first person for the most part. However, I am going to make a really cool looking character just because I want to. So we'll probably fast forward this, but you guys will see.
All right. So let's go through our uh, beast hunter. Or our, I guess I shouldn't say that. Our background. So every one of these is going to give you three traits that you start out with. You can unlock other ones. However, you cannot take these back. So these will be unlocked for you. So it's always a good idea to use the uh, skills that you're actually, or to pick the skills you're actually going to use in the game. Like for me, uh, what's another one I wouldn't like? Like this one. I love the surveying skill and fitness, but I would never use laser weapons. So no point in me getting that one because I don't use laser weapons. It would be a waste, essentially. So I, in general, I love picking the uh, the soldier background because you get fitness, which is your oxygen, basically your stamina meter. Ballistics, which means any of the uh, any weapon that uses bullets, and your boost pack, your jet pack training. You can start getting better at that from the get go, which is really really good. I think this is a really really good uh, background to go with a uh, soldier. But I mean, well, let's look at some of these other ones. I mean, they have uh, bounty hunters. Okay, target control systems, piloting. That's going to be a lot of uh, ship stuff. A chef. You got your gastronomy, so you can make cool food. You can scavenge for more wet, uh, more uh, money and things like that. Uh, pistol certification for combat medic. So if you use a lot of pistols, there you go. Um. I mean, industrialist is pretty good because you can probably use all of these things. Persuasion is good for conversation when you're talking to enemies or talking to people in general. Sometimes you're doing a quest and you need to talk to somebody and persuade them. Uh, security is good for lockpicking and research methods for upgrading your equipment. Oh, man. See all the stuff I want to do. Yeah, I think we're going to go generic soldier. That'll be the guy. And... Now you get to choose three traits, but you don't have to choose any of these. You can just skip it if you want to. I love alien DNA because this is a modifier that gets modified later on. So what I mean by that is if you take it, you will have uh, increased health and oxygen. But your uh, healing and food items aren't as effective. So you have to eat more food or more, you have to use more healing items to actually heal yourself. But you start out with high, high health and oxygen. And there are other skills to add another buff to it. So when you add a buff later on with another skill, it'll go on top of your alien DNA. So it's even more of a buff. So like, I don't know the exact stats, but like say you, you start out at 100 health. But if you have alien DNA, it would start out at 120. Let's just say, for example. Any skill will increase by a percentage. So if we if we increase it by 10% of 100, you're only increasing 10 points. 10% 10 of 120 is 12. You get two extra points every time you increase. So it really does matter. So I love the alien DNA uh, trait. That's a really, really good one. And you pick up a lot of food and stuff in the world. So... It's not a problem. You're never going to run out of, like, healing items as long as you're searching around looking for items. Uh, the other thing I would love, I always like, is the wanted. Someone put a price on your head and the word is spread. Occasionally, armed mercenaries will show up and try to take you out. But being cornered gives you an edge. When your health is low, you do extra damage. So, you're going to be randomly attacked all throughout the game... Randomly, pirate ship, whatever, they will land and try to take you out. Number one, that gives you more skill experience. But number two, you get extra health when you're, or you do uh, extra damage when your health is low. I like that one. So I have alien DNA, I'm wanted, and we have le one left over. And in general, I always like using the hero worship. But for this run, we're not going to use that. A lot of people do, and it's awesome. It's great, but we're not going to use healer, hero worshipped. What we're going to do is... Um, let's do... Uh, we're going to be raised universum, or universal. So, this is a religion in the game. There's going to be characters you run into that might be part of this religion, and they will react differently to you, depending on if you chose it, or maybe if you chose another religion... 
they might not like you or they will like you if you're part of their religion. It's very, very cool. We're going to be universal. All right. And then we're going to name our uh, character. Um, You know what? Got to do it. We're going to be Bacon. We're going to be uh, Jason Bacon. No, no, no. We'll just be Bacon. I want Vasco to call me Bacon. So, of course, we're going to go with Bacon. You were a good find when we hired you. Former military always knows how to get the job done. Well, you got the sample. Client's on his way. Then we all get paid. You remember anything that happened? There was this light and music. Huh. Well, you passed out, that's for sure. Everything else? Probably just your brain playing tricks. Either way, we got what we were looking for. All this trouble for that stupid thing? Huh. Sure don't look like much. Never mind what it looks like. It's worth more than this mine has pulled in all month. We'll be... Speak of the devil. Oh, someone's here. So now we can go in the third person and see our character if we wanted to. I'm not a big fan of the third person camera in this game, so I'm probably not going to use it very often. But it's here. And you can, you know, you can kind of get in there and you can zoom out a little bit. You're far away from constellation camera. contact is on approach. <sighs> Wait, the explorers group? <laughs> I thought they were kind of a joke. Not a joke. You're just too young to know better. Hey, I'm just saying they got a reputation. Hell, I bet half the crew here doesn't even believe they really exist. Half the crew doesn't believe Earth exists, but it's still there. Same with Constellation. Yeah, but come on. Exploring Whoa, space? You Who don't does look that good. anymore? Ain't the space we've already got complicated enough? Well, screw Not you too. Dang. All right, Dusty. Airlock. Put your helmet on. So you have to have a helmet or else you will get damaged. So we have to go into our equipment, put on our helmet. And you can also, while you're here, you can, at the bottom of the screen, it says hide in breathable areas. So... It's still technically on, but if I go into like a, a settlement or a city, it'll remove it. Same thing for your suit, or your armor, I, you could call it, your spacesuit. You can hide it when you're in settlements. That way, whenever you're walking around in normal place, it'll go away. But when you go out into battle or when you're out in space, it'll turn it back off. Here? What are we doing? All right. Well, we gotta wait for the engines to power down, that we we don't get burned, I guess. Look at this! It's so good. sophisticated now, huh? So, you found something? Right here. The new guy found it. That right. And everything went cool? Just like grabbing those minerals on Bendy? Kazal. And no Barrett. Not cool. He passed out after the extraction. Woke up saying all kinds of nonsense. Is that right, cowboy? Went on a trip, huh? Yeah, you can call it that. <laughs> that fun, huh? 
Not the most gentle push into the great mysteries of space, but hey, been there. Look, just hand over the credits, and I'll be happy to never see this thing, or you, ever again. That's why I like you, Lynn. All business. Barrett, the scanners on the frontier are reporting a ship coming in hot from orbit. I really thought I'd lost them. Okay. Barrett? That's the Crimson Fleet. Well, we gotta get our weapon out here, so let's do this. Look at this pirate ship. Come on. Oh, they're waiting. Oh, she had a machine gun. Oh, God. Really? You're going to run at me like that? Holy cow. All right. Got you. Oh, God. They're jumping. Oh, you following me? Okay. I was wondering. That punched you right in the face. Got you. Gotta pick up everything. You know how it is, guys. Gotta pick it all up. We appear to have suffered fewer casualties than would be expected. Of course Barrett was being followed. Every time. Now well, that was some fine work on the pressure. You dug up the artifact, right? That means you saw it. The visions? You're coming with me to Constellation. You're part of this now. Um, whoa, I didn't ask for any of this. Hey, um... I wasn't going to bring it up, but we don't exactly know what the artifact might have done to your head, and Constellation is really the only group qualified to help. Oh, great. Oh, no, Barrett. No. You think you're just going to take off after the mess you caused? All right. I guess I did just put you all on the Crimson Fleet hit list. How about I stay and I send your Dusty here in my place? I, I, I know, I know, but he's not some miner anymore, Lynn. Soon as he touched that rock, something changed. Don't tell me you can't feel it. Fine. It's a deal. Get out of here, Dusty. You're on to bigger things. <laughs> what about the mine? Don't you need me? Now that we've been attacked, oh, we've got to pack up and move on. Argos will come for the rest of us. You get going. Um. All right. Thanks. Just go. Before I say something, I regret. Well, none of that's settled. Vasco, get him to the lodge. No deviations unless absolutely necessary. Okay. Protocol Indigo. Indigo. Again. Very well. Oh, and hey, take this. You'll find it very useful out there, and it even tells the time. Yeah, I got my watch. Look at that awesome watch. Hey, look at that. The watch fits you perfectly. Now, questions? Oh, uh, yeah. Why send me? Shouldn't you be going? Come on. You're really not at all curious about that light music show you experienced? Why it only affected you? Because if you didn't notice, we've all been handling it since with no problem. The way I see it, Constellation needs that artifact, but they also need you. This mystery is only getting bigger each step we take. And you're part of it now. Um, who are you? What is Constellation? See, that's the problem with the settled systems. Too easy to take everything for granted. While everyone else is busy playing politics, 
We're the ones braving the unknown, charting the vastness of space. Without us, the galaxy is just a big room with the lights turned out. Um, why was the Crimson Fleet after you? They're just following the loop, like pirates do. And I have something of a reputation as a loot collector. Okay. Hey, Bosco, don't let him break my ship. <laughs> okay. Let's go, Vasco. Let me heal up. So, yeah, you'll notice that I'm not fully healing even though I use the med pack. Normally, you would from, like, you know, half a life or half health. But yes, you have a ton of health, but you also heal a lot slower and Captain not as Bacon. much. I assume you know how to fly a Class A starship. As Barrett likes to say, it's as easy as learning to ride a bike. I will attempt to boost the shields just in case there are any difficulties. <laughs> Thank you, Vasco. Very much appreciated. Captain Bacon here. Shields ready. The rest is up to you. Let's take off. And I love... And No Man's Sky has this as well. You can adjust the power depending on your what you want to do. So you can divert more power to your engines if you want to go faster. Or take a little bit of power off your engines and divert it to your shields. That way you have more shields. It's really, really cool. You get to pick what you want to do. And of course, you can go in third person in the, uh, the ship as well. Now that we are in orbit, it might be wise to test all controls and systems to ensure they are not on the verge of catastrophic failure. I can step you through the entire process, or if you're already an experienced pilot, just power up all the systems and we'll be on our way. Okay. So I just powered up all my systems. But yeah, you can literally just pick between like, oh, let me put my grab drive down and give me more engines or take off my engines completely and put it in my weapons. Whatever you want to do, you can. It's pretty awesome. You've proven an adequate pilot. Are you familiar with ship combat tactics? Because that's a crimson fleet ship bringing its weapons to bear. Oh. We will need to disable their shields. Laser-based weaponry is particularly effective. So you have different weapons on your uh, on your ship. You can have up to three of them. If you can keep the enemy ship centered on the HUD, we can walk in to fire And there you go. Destroyed it. So you can have up to three weapons. You don't have to have three, but you can have only up to three. Surviving your first starship assault, Captain. We should search the wreckage for spare parts and other salvage. Got it already. To fly close to it before we can access the remains. Got it already. But yeah, so when you explode a ship, you just get their cargo. However, later on when you get more advanced, uh more advanced skills you can aim for their engines shoot out their engines and then dock with them and steal their ship if you want to but for now we don't have that skill so we're just going to be good we're just going to be destroying ships until we get up there two more crimson fleet ships are jumping into our location captain all right So you'll notice I'm using my uh, my lasers to get their shields down, and then you can do ballistics if you want to. But you see how he's boosting? If you boost, you lose lock on him, or they lose lock on you if you do that same thing. So boosting is really, really good in this in Starfield. Right. And slowly turn. And you can only fire a missile when it's low. Well, I mean, the missile will only go and hit them if it's locked. If you're not locked, the missile will miss unless they're going in a straight line. Like, your missile will not, like, follow them. The amount of Crimson Fleet hostility has been far more than anticipated. At this rate, the odds of continual assault from their ships are high enough to jeopardize our mission. 
In short, they are after the frontier and will not stop. We will need to deal with the local Crimson Fleet captain. A recent scan indicates an abandoned facility on the nearby moon of Crete. A perfect staging area for pirates. Okay. Travel to Crete. So you can go into your menu or as we're looking around, you see that blue dot? You lock onto it and you can just travel from the game as you're playing it, which is really, really cool. Go into your menu, you can actually uh, look at the planet and scan it and do all that kind of stuff. Very, very awesome. I love it. So we need to land on here. In orbit, the abandoned facility with our Crimson Fleet captain is on the surface. So let's go in here. Let's go to our star uh, map. There it is. So we're in orbit around this planet. That's why it's zoomed in on this one. And we can do a scan. And later on, again, you have a whole bunch of skills. You can improve your scan ability and make it to where it scans even more materials. But right now we have a basic scan. That's why we just didn't, we didn't get a lot of info. We got some of it. But this is where we need to land. So let's go there. And the cooler thing about it as well is you can land on any part of the planet you want. You don't have to land on those uh, designated marked areas. Those are just telling you, hey, look, if you land here, this is where you need to go. But if you want to land anywhere, you can, and it will load up the uh, planet for you. Oh, you got a, you got a pirate ship taking off. And then, look at this, we have our scanner, just like in No Man's Sky. But unlike No Man's Sky, you have to scan the same thing more than once. So I've scanned this plant once and it's 13% scanned. So I can, I need to find another five of these plants to fully get my scans done. You can improve that scanning skill and make it to where you scan less and less items. But for now, again, we have the basic one. So we really can't uh, improve scanners, it the right yet. Research facility is in this direction. See, 13, 25, 38. So we just did three of those little animals. Let's get over here. And we can grab it if we wanted to. Get some iron, get some silver. Up, oh, there's a Crete stalker. Be careful, Captain. Alien creatures are often hungry. All right. Come on back up here. It's hiding in the ground. Come on. Please avoid getting shot. Oh. You might die. There we go. And they also have items, uh, useful materials you can use to build uh, upgrades and stuff like that. There we go. We're looking around here. Oh, we have a, uh, what is this? Lead. Anything else we need to scan? I don't see anything. Oh, another plant. So we're 13. Improve it again. And you can also improve the distance you can scan. So later on, I can uh, make it to where I can scan it within like 50 feet or 100 feet or whatever. But right now, you gotta be real close. Is a confederation of smaller independent pirate crews all flying under the same banner. They are typically Then we have our flashlight. Kind of looking around. All right, Vasco, let's get in here. And there's all kinds of stuff you can grab, but I'm going to try to avoid it. These are United Colonies markings, but we are in Freestar Collective space. It then stands to reason that this was once a secret UC facility. Anything in there? Nothing. Nothing. 
Alright. Got some lockers over here. Oh. I love that. That's money. Credit stick. And the digipicks. So you can pick locks. And lock picking in this game is really, really uh, hard, but satisfying. I love lock picking in Starfield. Nothing. Oh, there's this guy right here. Sorry, buddy. Oh, there's a box right here. Metabolic agent. Polytextile, so uh, crafty materials. Nothing in there. Oh, some food. I get you guys, you run into a lot of food. Actually, I just remembered we were picking up weapons earlier. Like, yeah, we have a machine gun. I didn't even think about that. Okay, well, let's uh, hotkey that. Uh, bashing. So bashing deals double damage when gun bashing. Ooh, okay, so that was actually better. It has a bonus. It's a rare. Grab this. Whoa, God! You scared me. No more enemies remaining. Just grabbing everything off of them. Thank you for the assist there, Vosco. Wants us to go over there, so let's go into this nasty uh, bathroom. <laughs> oh yeah, I want some antibiotics from the toilet. Those are the best. The only trust the toilet antibiotics. Sounds bad. Oh, oh, oh man, that was the best. <laughs> Classic United Colonies. Put something in a cage until it kills you. <laughs> <laughs> One more time. One more time. Oh, lock picking already. Fill in all open slots in every layer to open the lock. Select a key and rotate it until the, it lines up with the gaps. Each key can only be used once. All right, so you have your keys on the right. You see, how I can switch between all the different keys. The basically the little line things. We have to try to line it up like this. But if we do that, what's going to line up in that last slot? Nothing really. So you can position it like this and then switch between them and see. Oh, yeah. You know what? I, actually, that one might be better. And then we have this one. Yeah, see, that works way better. You can actually line them up like that. So boom, boom. And then... We need to line this up. So you can kind of get it. You can get it lined up and plan out your moves. So you can see where it goes and boom, boom. There you go. Easy, easy way. And they get complicated. They get real complicated later on. So these are all the easy, uh, the easy skills right now. The easy locks. Boom, boom, boom. Look for these little medical, uh, bay things. That way I can, uh, Pick up all my medicine. No, no, no. Pack of cards. Don't need that. Lockers. 
Always checking the lockers because there's always cool stuff in there. Well, not always, but usually, usually. All right. I heard people talking, but I'm not seeing anybody. Up oh, some uh, chunk food, so space food. And then, yeah, you can go in here and look and see. Okay, it's a blender base. It only has mass and weight and value. So there's weight and value. That's it. There's no other resource or nothing else you can do with it. So there's no point. I mean, unless you need money, there's no point picking up all that extra cool stuff. Because you'll be pl picking up plenty of foods and resources to uh, craft with. Bandages. So like that. You want to pick up those. Some apple bites. I mean, we can go in here too. And say, eh, I want to use some of that food I've been picking up. So I'll take that sandwich. There we go. Some chunk. Water. Uh, ooh, some non bread. Yes. I don't want to eat a whole loaf of bread. I'm good on that. Apple slices, though, and a protein bar. And uh, you see they have stats on the right hand side as well. So you can kind of see what it does. Not only does it restore two health, but it also gives me a 16% a reduction in oxygen for three minutes. So awesome. We can we have that steak there. Yeah, we'll leave that alone. All right, let's go. Nope, that door's locked. Oh, we have some empty chunk pass. Oh, chunks. Cocoa? Choco? Yes, chocolate chunk. I'll take that. All right. Look at these guys just not paying attention. Level two. Beautiful. Grab that. Oh, scientist. Hey, buddy. Oh, this ain't over. Oh, it is. You just don't know it yet. There you go. Oh. Oh. Oh, she running? No, you don't run away. Ooh, she has a legendary. I'll take that. No one's getting through. All right. She had a uh, legendary. Let's check that. I saw a yellow. I think it was a pack backpack. Yes. So she had a yellow jet pack. So that's legendary. The yellow or gold, whatever you want to call it, is a legendary. So it has boosted oxygen capacity. Uh, plus 20 carry capacity and 4% chance to reflect attacks. Are you kidding? That's a really good job. Yeah, of course I'm using that. Uh, O2 is consumed with ex exertion, such as sprinting, melee attacks, and jumping, but I have 20% more capacity. Yes. Oh, dude, that's awesome. No good weapons. That's okay. Oh, there's a weapon case here. And that is something I know it's going to drive you guys crazy. I'm going to fast track it. So I'm not going to be searching like I normally would. Like this would take me probably an hour because I would go through and look at every item. I would take what I wanted and, and drop what I didn't want. And I don't want that's not fun for a playthrough to watch. So I'm going to be not, not mainlining it, but definitely not doing as much uh, searching as I normally would. So I know you guys are going to say, oh, you missed this thing or that thing. That's okay. That is by design. I will be picking up a good portion, but not everything. I will be losing some stuff. That's okay. That is what New Game Plus is for. The really slow, methodical, I will be going around and picking up everything. Um, no, no, no. Anyone in here? Wait, what was that? Yep. Oh, right there. You didn't even know what hit you, buddy. Come here. Where's the other one? There is a high likelihood of human death. Yeah. Thank you for the tip. Oh God. He came running at me. 
Yes, in combat, there is a high likelihood of human death. Not Vosco death, though. Nothing, nothing. Oh, there's a thing there. All right. So, yeah, I'm not going to spend too much time searching. Just doing a quick run and seeing if anything pops out to me. Like this door that's locked. Let's see if I could line this up. So that's a good one. Let's see where else we would go. No, that one wouldn't fit. This one would, though. I think that works. There we go. And then... Oh. Nope, not that one, but like that, yes. And then like this. Yep, the lines up. Beautiful. All right. Not see anything in here. Again, there's a uh, a computer we can read a whole bunch of the backstory of the facility if we wanted to. There we go. I'm not here for the facility. I'm just here to take out some friggin' pirates. Nope. Nope, I don't think this lines up. Oh, no, it does. Okay. Boom. Yep. There we go. Beautiful. Credits. Ooh, we got a good pistol here. Plus 30% damage against aliens. Okay, and aliens meaning the animals. So, don't think there's any, like, I'm not going to go fire on different aliens out in the world to talk to them. It's not Mass Effect. Starfield. All right. Dude. Oxygen like crazy. Look at this. I could run all day. You don't look so good, buddy. It's loose. The Terramorph is loose. We can't stop it. When, when we tried to sync with the neural control interface, it just completely flipped out. Broke through its containment chamber like it was made out of paper. He kills Michelson, Cobb, and Sumatri in all of I'm one minute. Nearby. I'm, I'm not even sure where it is, but whatever it is, it's got deeper into the facility a, a some... security detail went in after the good friggin' luck. When I know it's safe, I'm going to make a run for the comm relay. Try to call in the cavalry. Hayden Wynn, lead xenobiologist. Wishing he had gone to dentist school like his parents wanted. Yep. And then, I'm guessing this is when. We're dead. We're all dead. The comms relay has been trashed. The whole room is trashed. We can't call for help. I can hear the terror morph roaring somewhere. And more people screaming. <laughs> That's it. That was his end. Good lord. Depressing. Let's do that. And then we need a uh, a double. Oh no, we're gonna have to, we gotta pick one of these, I guess. All right. So that means we need this one over here. Okay. That one. All right, that lines up. Beautiful, done and done. And then <laughs> I use a digit pick to get in here, and they gave me one back. Well, thank you. And that is, guys, that's something to keep in mind. You will lose your pick. Even if you're successful, you lose it. I'm, I'm, I'm using all these picks and I'm not even, look at this. I'm not even, I'm not even gaining my experience because I didn't unlock the, uh, the security. Dang it. That's all right. Well, I think security is more important for me. So lock picking, I should have unlocked this earlier. I should have acquired this earlier that way i get my skill so now if i pick five more locks i can upgrade this ability and get better and better at my uh, lock picking skill but i didn't do that because i wasn't paying attention dang it 
That's okay. We got it, guys. We got it. And then, no, uh, just a regular book. Uh, Berserker Modified Grendel. That's a weapon, I think. So let's see. Oh, yeah. Does more damage the less armor one has. So the less armor I have, the more damage it does. Wow. Oh, dude, we have a whole bunch of ammo for that. So, yeah, that's going to be our next uh, rifle. So for me... You'll notice I put my pistols on the right hand side. I put all my, my machine guns and rifles at the left. And then I'll put my big guns, like my grenade launchers, shotguns at the top, and then all my food at the bottom. That's how I set up my quick access, my hotkeys, but you can do it however you want. That's how I do mine. Do I get any upgrade stuff other than my jetpack? Look at that. Space mining helmet. And we can compare it to what I have now. Same exact stuff except for my current helmet gives me more airborne protection. The pirate one gives me more thermal and corrosive. Hmm. So I think I'm going to use that one. All right. Wait a minute. I just realized I'm not using any uh, grenades like I have. I have them, I'm just not using them. You gotta be kidding me. The Frontier has a new captain? You working with Barrett, or did you pry the ship keys out of his cold, dead hands? Uh, that's right, I killed Barrett. So tell your pirate friends to back off. Oh no, you see, we weren't really after Barrett. Oh crap. We're after that ship. Every Crimson Fleet rook hears about the Frontier. That constellation keeps treasure hidden in the cargo bays. The loot from a hundred planets. That statement is partially correct. The frontier has been to many planets and moons, but the only things held in the cargo bays are spare parts, dust, desiccated food particles, and a variety of species of ant. I don't care what kind of lies Barrett programmed that robot to say. We're taking that ship. All right, so this is where we can persuade him. Again, remember, we don't have that skill, so we're not going to gain any experience in our persuasion, but we can try to persuade him. Uh, there's no treasure in my ship. Cut your losses before more people get hurt. You're not talking us out of this score. There it is. To persuade a person, you need to make successful choices. Choices can range from kind words to distractions to threats. Each choice has a difficulty. The higher the difficulty, the greater the chance that the choice fails but the more points you'll earn when you succeed. So the more risky the option is, the more likely you are to fail. However, you will actually get more persuasion by using those. So you can be kind of risky if you want. You have a limited number of choices you can make, but you can never fail if your last choice succeeded. So as long as your last one succeeds, you're good to go. Or if you convince them fast, like if you fill up their meter in the beginning, you're good to go. You don't have to continue the conversation. So uh, if I went with five and I was successful, I would uh, instantly persuade him. But it's red, so it's really risky if I went with that one. The putty, putting you down is going to be fun. <laughs> um, Let me see. Uh, let's do a plus three. Hey, if you want to trade ships, that sounds good to me. The frontier creaks when it turns anyway. I'm not falling for that. Your ship is loaded, and we want it. Uh-oh. Um... I just made it past your entire crew. You really want to try your luck against me? We're going to go risky all the way. Plus five. So you got past a few rooks. Who cares? Not successful again. Oof. All right. Hail Mary. We got one chance left. Uh, lie says Vasco is programmed with advanced combat protocols. He'll rip you and your crew to pieces. Hail Mary. Let's go. Bullshit. Oh, I've called me. enough out of you. Kill them. All right. Bacon. Protocol Indigo dictates that I am to return to the Oh god, I'm stuck on this railing.
Oh, it's a single shot. Oh god. Let's do this. Let's go. Got him. Oh, he has a purple uh, helmet. Yes. This is no money. Should now be free to travel. Oh, these guys over here. Oh god. Use a med pack. Okay, we got it. Let me get over here. Oh, they're gonna leave. Oh my god. They're packing up the ship. They're out of here. They're like, no, no, no. We're not gonna deal with this guy. Oh crap, I'm out of bullets. Um. Let's go to my, my semi-auto. Yep. Where's this guy at? He ran away. Where are you, buddy? There you are. Got you. All right. And there is fast travel. So as long as you're not over encumbered, you're not like you're not carrying too much stuff. Pull up your visor, and you can return to any location you've been to before. We've obviously been to our ship before, so I could just... Oh, I am over-encumbered. Are you serious? Wait a minute. How am I over-encumbered? Where am I at? Oh, my God. I am carrying way too much stuff. Oh, Lord. Well, we'll have to walk it. That's fine. Oh, wait a minute. We have our good helmet here. Combat veteran. Pl minus 15% damage from human. Uh, resource hauler. Resources weigh 25% yet. Le less, yes. We will take that. Um, let me add some, uh, yeah, let me eat some of the food I've been picking up. Oh, uh, the Canuck Maple Cola Syrupy Sweet Soda. Yes. We have some chocolate we can eat. Uh, I don't want to eat a lemon. That doesn't sound too good at all. I'll drink some milk, though. Lentils. Um, meat, meat. I'll eat a tomato. And we also have this battle meal multi-pack, which increases your carry capacity. I should have eaten this first. Now I now I don't have to worry about it. So now I can travel. There you go. So yeah, as long as you're not over encumbered, you're good to go. Captain Bacon. <laughs> to reach the launch, yes. we must jump to the planet Jemison in the Alpha Centauri system and then land in the city of New Atlantis. Do not worry. This will all become second nature before too long. All right, so we need to take off and go back to New Atlantis. Fast travel directly from the menu. We could do that as well. So you don't even have to take off. If you say, hey, you know what? I don't want to go through. I don't want to take off and go into space. I don't want to risk any combat. Like if you're in a, uh, a really high uh, combat system, you don't want to risk it. You can just say, hey. I'm gonna go into my menu. I need to go to Jemison. So we gotta back off here. And here is our star chart with all our systems. Now the red ones are ones we have not been to and they're probably outside of our warp drive, which is fine. So we can, we know we can go to the ones that are in the white. So boom, we can go there, we can go there. But if the ones in red, too far away, we'd have to do a double jump to get there. Have to jump to another system closer and then to that one we need to go to. Let's go to Alpha Centauri. Here we go. So anytime you go to like a big city or settlement, you are cleared for landing at New Atlantis. they will scan you for illegal items. And if you're carrying anything, they will confiscate them, arrest you. You don't want to deal with that. So don't go to a big city if you have a lot of uh, black market items. We're going to land over here. So let's scan it first. 
So we have our general scan done, but we need to land at New Atlantis. I am a level two uh, bacon. <laughs> I love it. I am Captain Bacon. Get up. Now you do have cargo in your ship, so you can actually access it from this panel or pressing pause, going into your uh, your inventory. You can just, at the bottom, it says left bumper for cargo. There's our cargo hold. Oh, we have a whole bunch of aluminum. Holy mackerel. And so there's a whole bunch of stuff here. I like to put all my uh, resources so all of our stuff that we use for crafting, I like to store all this on our ship. So we do that. That way I can clear out some of my uh, weight limit here. Oh, I have the artifact. I have the digipix. All right. And actually, oop. Let's go back in here. Because... Hide in settlements. Am I hiding it? Oh, I might not be wearing anything underneath. That might be why. Uh, miner's outfit. Oh, no, I am. Oh, nice. Okay, got some cool stuff here. Trucker, trucker hat. Uh, yeah, there you go. Boom. Argos jumpsuit. We could do that. There we are. Let's get down in here. Hey, Bosco. Uh, you want to let me out of here? Thank you. Hey, Bosco. What? No bear? Let me guess. Protocol Indigo again? Northern Marine. Uncanny. <laughs> Happens all the time. And he's our new captain. My crew can take a look at your ship. And you can stop by the trade authority kiosk if you need to offload some cargo. Uh, do I need to fix my ship? Nothing for us to do. You're in good flying condition. Okay. Everything looks good here. I'll be at my booth if you need me. And then, if you want to, there's a kiosk right here you can sell to. There's also multiple different merchants at the uh, city hubs. So right here, we have all of our stuff we can sell. And, like, we can sell... Some of the stuff we don't want to keep, like that one. Um, of course, we'll use this one instead of our normal one. Yeah, see, we'll get rid of our normal one. We'll use that one instead. Um, we have that one, that one. Yeah, so we can sell all these. Sell all those. And this one's modified, so it's actually uh, has some upgrades on it. But the one we're using right now does more damage. The less armor you have. Okay. So we'll get rid of that. Get rid of that. I don't use any melee weapons, so I'll get rid of those. And that is a laser weapon. Again, don't use those, so we're good to go on that. Wait a minute. I can sell some of these. Yeah, see, I have... It's a heart and two. So I, I had more than one cutter uh, laser. We don't need that. We can get rid of all this, because we have a good one now. Just to kind of clear up our inventory and get some weight off of us. Get rid of that. Get rid of these. Oh, and they don't have enough money for it, so we'll wait on that one. Very awesome. Heck yeah. So hopefully you guys liked this first episode. If you did, hit that like button, and I will see you guys in the next one.